I saw a very interesting video about how love is not blind for men. And I couldn't be any, and I couldn't agree any more than that. Because this is the thing. I saw that, you know, the guys, Clay, um, Jeremy, all those guys. A lot of those guys um, in those shows appear very superficial. And to a certain degree, it's true. Okay, let me, let's just keep it out the way. It, to a certain degree, it's true. But the truth is, is that this show is more wired for female nature than male nature. People, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if studies show this, but I believe that guys have better eyesight than, than some women. In fact, wait a minute. Let's find this out. Do guys have, do men have better eyesight than women? Let's find out what it says. Men are better than women at spotting fine details and rapid movement. That That is very true. So... So it does show that men have more, better vision than women. Um, and also it says that um, men have more neuron development in the visual cortex, which is boosted by masculine hormones. In fact, when a guy, when a guy has high testosterone, studies show that their visual cues, like their vision gets sharper. Your testosterone increases your vision. Let's find out. Testosterone increases vision. Right, I'm I'm not wrong. Um, testosterone, similar to estrogen, testosterone impacts this hormone maintains the blah 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 gland. Which, yep, low testosterone levels in older men can induce dry eye syndrome and other vision difficulties. Pretty pretty simple, people. Pretty simple. Everything about men is visual, right? And with in this show, when women can fall in love with you without look at, without ever seeing your face, and that's a fact, right? Women are not as superficial as men are that's not a and by the way that's not even a freaking compliment okay that's not a compliment um the problem with male nature is that male nature is has a very horrible moral high ground in other words when a man says what he wants versus what a woman says what she wants the woman could take the higher moral high ground by saying that i like people for their personality and you like people for just their bodies. And unfortunately for us guys, it's true. Now, we don't just like you for your body. But to a certain degree, it's more true for men than women. Studies show that men, in terms of like in level of importance, how the physical appeal is very important for men. For women, studies show that physical appeal is kind of important for women. Like it, it's, it goes from very important to kind of important for women. And the reason why is this, men, you don't truly, compared to most animals, you don't truly know which one is dangerous. You could just look at a person, at an animal, and you could tell which animal is dangerous. They have the fangs, the muscles, and everything. With humans, you don't know which man is on top. You don't know which man is truly the most dominant man by just his physical appearance. Now, yes, there are some cues physical cues that show that you are a dominant person, but it's not accurate all the time. And because it's not accurate all the time, women are not exclusively attracted to that all the time. But with men, there are some physical cues that relates to what men value that are undeniable and undisputable. And you cannot wire that out. And those guys that go on that, on that show... Every single motherfucker, all those dudes are looking for two things. Make sure her voice is not fat. I'm just being honest with you. Guys, They could, you could tell if a woman is overweight by her voice. There is such a thing as an overweight voice. Because of, because of the extra fat tissues, there's a consistency. There's fat tissues here, fat tissues here, fat tissues. All of this creates a certain chubby voice. <laughs> And studies show, and this is this is crazy, man. Studies do show that you could tell a woman's age by her voice and also how attractive a woman is by just her voice. That 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 is undeniable. Okay. And what happens with these guys is that when the guys are talking to the women compared to the to the women, though they're they're trying to ascertain how she looks physically. Now there are guys, you could tell the superficial guys. Because the guys that are not as superficial still think this. They still think of it, but they don't say it. The really superficial guys will, cannot resist. They need to tell her, hey, I need to know how you look. That is important to me. 
And the women get offended, and I get it, but people, God, God, this is this is just not this this show is not wired for guys. And what happens is that it makes the woman feel objectified. It, it's it, it it's something that these directors they're trying to mold. It's like it's like when they try to get guys to get into talk therapy. Talk therapy is more wired for women than men are. Studies show that men are not. They don't regulate emotions through the words similar to to women. They don't. In fact, men take longer period of time to talk about what they feel compared to women. And it's not that they don't f- express their emotions. It's just that guys express their emotions through their physical bodies, through physical expression, hitting a wall, punching a wall, punching a punching bag, and being in competition. Competition is a guy's way to deal with therapy. You know what? You want to know how many times I play basketball? And at 5 p.m. is when guys usually go play basketball. And all of the guys say, man, I'm so stressed. I need to play. Every single guy that I'm t- every most guys that play basketball do it because it relieves the stress. And it relieves stress a lot more than it relieves stress for women. Physical activity and physical competition and, and then feeling that competition allows men to process emotions way better than it allows women to process emotions. But talk therapy allows women to process emotions better than men. It doesn't mean that talk therapy doesn't work for men. Just like physical exercise doesn't, you know, it works for women but at different rates. And we got to stop pigeonholing people to certain places simply because it works for one sex. It's not true. This show is better for women for the simple fact is this. Studies show that women fall in love a lot more through their ears than through their through their eyes. A man with a good voice, a man tells her what she wants to hear, she will fall in love with him. She has a higher likelihood of falling in love with him. But a guy cannot fall in love with an invisible ghost. We need to know how you look. It's not fair. Like, I'm sorry. And and I feel bad for the guys in the show because they all come across as superficial, the ones that want to know how the woman looks, and I get it. It's not the rule of the show, and you should have known. I get it. But to, uh, to resent male nature, to resent a guy for wanting to look how she, to want to know how she looks, it's not outside of the, it's not an impossible thing. It's not a crazy request. Because it, Every single human, every single human that's a man, that's a guy, wants to cannot be with a woman if she if he doesn't know how she looks. It's just how it is. This show is not meant for guys. In fact, this should be meant for women on women. <laughs> Love is blind, lesbian version. You'll be you. T- <laughs> Hell yeah, that that will work. But guys are visual creatures. Guys need to know how you look. A guy's eyes is more deeply wired and more deeply connected to their dicks. It's more deeply connected to 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 their to to almost every part. It, it, because we're just visual creatures, visual uh, creatures. We could we could see more details in things. We could see further. Our visual, our, we're like hawks. And for you to remove that away. It's like having a dog go to a, a, a show where he finds other dogs to mate with, but now he can't judge you. He can't use his nose. How are you going to have a dog judge who, whether or not somebody's a good mate without using his nose? Our, that, our eyes are our nose. So, of course, this show is not meant for guys, man. This show is meant to, to, to make guys look bad. You know, and, 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 and it doesn't excuse the bad guys who... Like Clay and AD, that guy should have known. But I can promise you, these relationships just don't work. And most likely, they don't work because of the woman. They don't work because the guy. The guy, I'm telling you, man, like guys are superficial creatures. Not completely superficial because they can fall in love with you, but they have to like the way you look. That is undeniable. And this show is trying to be slick. No, it's not how it works. This show is meant for conflict. It's just that simple. It's meant for conflict. Because this conflicts head and head with male nature. It just does, you know? And that's why I would never get in a show like that. Because Father Alex, y- y'all would hate Father Alex. You'd be like, oh my God, Father Alex is such a fucking asshole. He hurt that poor girl's heart. <laughs> but it's like, nah, bitch, I need to know how you look. You gotta take a peek. I can't fall in love with my ears. You just can't. I'm not a snake. 
You can't just use things and just get me to with just your words. No, I'm telling you, man, you can't. A guy will never fall in love with you if he can't, if he doesn't know how you look and if he doesn't like the way you look. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. And you better hope that this show matches you with somebody attractive. You know? Like with AD. AD is an attractive girl. AD is an attractive girl. I mean, Clay. No, AD, yeah. It's just Clay didn't like the way she looked. It's just that simple. I could promise you if he found her attractive, he will have chemistry with her. A guy, you could have genuine chemistry with a guy, but if he doesn't find you attractive, he's not gonna he's not gonna let himself feel that chemistry. He's gonna sabotage himself. He's like, Dick, you're not gonna feel chemistry for this girl. We're not gonna have that chemistry. That's why if you're not as, as attractive, when he knows you're trying to court him, he's gonna shut down. The one time when a guy falls in love with a woman that's not his type is when She's court is when they're getting to know each other and he's not thinking that she's trying to make a move. And then his defenses are down. He feels chemistry. He's like, wow, I kind of like hanging out with this girl. And over time, he'll end up liking a woman he usually wouldn't be attracted to. I'm telling you, that 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 has happened. Where I would date a girl. I remember this one girl, she had a fucking mustache. <laughs> she had a mustache and a fucking unibrow. It's unbelievable, man. It was like two bridges. It's crazy. And we were just friends, really good friends. And I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't think about her that way because she wasn't my type, you know? She's like, got a fucking mustache, bitch. Like, what the hell? What, are you Tony Montana? Cut that shit off. Anyways. So we, we, we were friends in college and we talked a lot because we were good friends. And, and I remember over time, I just ended up liking her. And I remember feeling a big crush for her. Now, mind you, she did have a nice body, but I didn't like this. I'm like, can't be doing mustaches, girl. But I ended up falling for her. We, nothing ever happened because she wasn't into me too. But I noticed that when you have chemistry with someone and you keep talking to them over time, the, your 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 eyes are going to start playing tricks on you. Your, your, your brain will literally Photoshop her and change, say, and change certain symmetries to make her look attractive. How does that work? You know how people say you look like someone, but some other people might not agree that you look like someone? You ever wonder why that is, right? Two, diff, t the same person, but two different people, functioning eyes, they can't see that you look like somebody else, but other people can. Why is that? It's because everyone has a certain trait that they focus on more than other traits. When you look at someone, you focus, you unconsciously have a pattern of how you look at a person. Some people might look at this eye and this eye and this. Some people, some people may pay attention to this, this and this. Some people may may pay attention to, to the proportions of this and this, or some people just may pay attention to this proportion, and and so they have a certain hierarchy of that of what they focus on more than others. And this hierarchy creates almost like a gravity field that if you focus on this this more, this enlargement of focusing tends to sort of like like diminish certain sp parts, almost like. Like your peripheral vision, if you look at it at this, this will get peripherally more gray, I mean, more um, dimmed or more fuzzy. The same thing with this is that by you, the way you focus on the face, how you focus on somebody's face is how is how you're gonna is, is how they're gonna look in your eyes. And some people that sees you similar to somebody else, all, all they're doing is focusing on certain traits about you and that person that this person might not be focusing on. And this is so unconscious and so fast that it creates the impression that you don't look like them, but you look like them. Or somebody else might think of another thing, right? I don't know where we, how we got into that subject. But the, in terms of visual, with some guys, they just got to know how you look, man. I'm sorry. This show, it, 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 women hate that, and I get it. I totally get it. But we got to stop demonizing men. We got to stop that. Because I, it's not fair. We didn't... We, we, it's not our fault we're attracted to that. What the fuck? Like, like we're visual motherfucking creatures because visually you could tell. It's the quickest way to tell how how fertile a person is. Oh, my God, fertile. What are we, objects? Mother, did I make people? Did I make men? Like Y'all y'all talk to me like I made people. Like I was in the lab with, like, come on, man. I'm just explaining it. Talk to that guy up there. Anyways, man. Um, Yeah, this show is just not meant for, you, for human nature, man. 
Um, and it's, if you're a guy and you want to get on that show, don't get on that show. You're gonna, you, it's not going to work out. I'm telling you, every single one of those guys want to know how she looked. Every single one of those guys is saying this. Hope she's not fat. I, that's just how, that's what every guy is thinking. I hope she's not overweight. Every guy, every single motherfucker in that show, every single guy, I promise you, I'll bet all of my money on that, that every guy's thinking that. It, it, it's just doesn't, it's just that male nature is so easily demonized. It just is. It's, it's, it kind of annoys me because, you know, I just hate that sometimes, and you, you know, women, you, y'all, you guys are watching me, but I just hate that some women take the more high ground for something that we can't control. It's not our fault. We, we, men prefer, Women who are younger than them. It's not our fault. You know, it's not our fault that we prefer women who's in shape. It's not our fault. It's not our fault that 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 that, that we care how you look. I, I get it's superficial, but we can't do nothing about it. It's like get, it's like a vegan getting angry at somebody who likes to eat meat. It's like, dude, I I I, I didn't make myself, motherfucker. Like, who do you think I am? Anyways, man. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. I'm I'm just venting because it's just culture today. The, the culture today just don't like guys. It's just that simple. They just don't. They just don't. Guys don't like guys. Women don't like guys. It's just how it is, man. Um, but anyways, I hope hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to mindfulattraction.org. And um, by the way, people, if you guys ever worked with me and if you purchase any of my courses, I would like for you guys to send me your testimonial. You can click in the description down below. There you're gonna find a form that allows you to send a testimonial. Um, you guys can upload, like you guys can like upload on YouTube the testimonial, or maybe you guys can send it to me to, through Instagram. But just put down your information, tell me what type of testimonial you wanna tell me. If you, if you worked with me, or if you purchased a course, or anything, please, or or even a testimonial about how my videos change your life. For example, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna want me to interview you and upload it about how my videos have help, have helped you, um, please let me know. It really does help my channel um, to upload testimonials, because um, you know I I sort of don't care about telling people testimonials because I know I believe in the content that I make, but some people want to see people testimony about my videos, so it's not enough for them. So please help Father Alex get some testimonials out there um, because I want to get this message out. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys ever want to open a channel, a, a TikTok with my videos, you can also do that. Please click on the description down below. There you guys can also become part of that. Um, but yeah, man, I, I encourage people, you don't even need my permission. Just go on TikTok and re-upload my, my, my shorts. Um, and you guys can do something like that, and I won't mind. Just make sure to tag me um, by putting my Instagram on the thing so that people could just follow me there. And put, put my YouTube channel. Just say YouTube channel, Mindful Attraction when you upload a video using my content and you're not gonna have a problem with me, okay? Anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever wanna learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle, he's a, he's a bad uncle, get him. Shut up, Melissa, you should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're gonna be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're gonna be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know. It, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self awareness. Healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. 
After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really, most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.